Okay, so we're in After Effects here, and we are going to take this footage, and it's just very simple. Here, let me play it from the finder so you can see how fast the footage is. So it's in 4K, so my computer's a little glitchy, but it's smooth. So yeah, it's just a simple orbit, simple clip. Okay, so the first thing is, is double clicking in this window right here will open up the finder and let you import something. So I just already have my footage in here, but what I did is I double clicked and I came in here and I clicked or right hit open and it brought this footage in dot move I right clicked on it this is very important to do in the beginning interpret footage main and conform your footage to 30 frames per second now if you know what you're doing you can do other frames per second but if you don't know what you're doing then do 30 for now um, being at this weird decimal frame rate can mess things up when you make slow motion which we're going to do and pixel blending when you're pixel blending and you're not using an easy number for some reason sometimes things just get wonky so conform to 30 frames per second okay got it and you're going to take your clip and drag it down and onto the new comp icon and boom you're going to have this and this is going to open up with your footage in it and that's where we are just about so then what I did is like all you're seeing right now is stabilized footage so I didn't want to make you wait for the analyzation of stabilization so I went to warp stabilizer VFX right click warp stabilizer VFX it will process took about five minutes my computer is a laptop Mac which is why it took five minutes um, and uh, then this showed up and I haven't adjusted anything yet so first thing we're gonna do is just check out how smooth the footage is so I just hit the spacebar and then was looking to see if what it's stabilized so far at 50% looks good enough to me and you can already kind of tell it's not amazing, so we'll change it to 100. And uh, it only takes a minute. All right, so now we're seeing, oh yeah, it's looking better. That first moment's not very good, but that's fine. We can cut that out. <clears throat> so boom, 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 boom. It's looking pretty good. All right, so now let's go to effects. And we could add this color correction um, shadow highlight onto it directly or on an adjustment layer, doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it like this. And you can see it just made it look a little better. We'll turn off auto. Turn up the shadow, down the shadow. Let's just find a good area. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Where do we want to be? I don't know. Kind of like it all the way. There we go. That's good enough. And then maybe let's add a curves and just make it look. Just right below, super bright. What else? Looks good. Alright, so we have stabilized. We've brightened it up. It looks a little better. And so now we probably want to add in some kind of light. So you're going to need two plugins for wedding videos and those plugins are essential for everyone that is 
um, Revisions plugins, Twixter Pro, and Video Copilot's optical flares. So, first things first, let's slow down the footage. So, let's go to the footage and add Twixter Pro. And our timeline's not going to fit our new long slow footage so let's make it longer I right clicked in this open area right here I hit composition settings and I'm going to just change this to 24 seconds you know it's not perfect but I'm not gonna spend all my time worrying about that so see how I can't drag this out like even though I change the speed down to 50% doesn't get longer so right click on the footage, time, enable time re remapping. Now you can drag your footage down and make it longer. So let's see how long it is. See, that's not even the end of it. Oh wait, maybe it is. I'm trying to find the end of our comp, but we don't want to be at 50. So we're good. We have all this extra space to work with. Let's start moving in here somewhere. Yeah, see, okay. So it's in the beginning. So we want it to go flying in, well let's just erase, remember that beginning was pretty bad, so let's just erase that beginning. Okay, so keyframe, the speed, <clears throat> we'll worry about all the blending in a little bit. And let's just go up to like right here, and we'll put this at 10, let's just see what that throws us. Yeah, it should throw us back to the beginning ish. So let's play it. And we're at a quarter resolution, so. Let's see how slow she gets right here. So you can see it's pretty slow and it's kind of jerking just a little bit like it's not neat it's not perfect so let's fix that by going to the blend mode motion weight warping inverse with smart blend oh and our input frame rate needs to be the same remember we had that old conversation about 30 frames well that needs to match just so that everything is perfect otherwise you'll just spend all that time rendering and you'll be like what in the hell has happened there's these glitches in my slow motion that sure looks a lot better that's gonna work fantastic see now you just have so much more to work with you just took a short clip in between the photographer running in and out of your shot and you just turned it into a long clip that you can really use. So, moving on. Time for some... Oh, other things first. On the footage, turn double click here, click once, click twice. That means you're on pixel motion. You can double check by going to frame blending, pixel motion. If you change that, see how I changed it here? So that changes this. Okay. So frame bl blending, motion blur, okay, motion blur, turn it on. Now to actually see it occur in the viewport, you need to turn it on there, and you need to turn on the motion blur. This just adds an extra layer of um, motion blur between the frames in super slow-mo. Right click, new, solid, okay, sounds good, effect. Video Copilot, Optical Flares. Change the render mode to over transparent. Go to options. Go to one of these folders and find a not so crazy light. Something that's more like, mm, I could see that happening like that. Oopsie. Here we go. Um, 
Let's choose something red. I usually don't have a problem finding any of these, but this is always a good one. He's overused that though. Here we go. Alrighty. So go to mode, right click, hit blending mode, add. Boom, we got some more natural looking light. Now, where's your shadow? It's coming from behind. So we're just gonna play with it as if it's over there. So what I did is I just drug the position up here above into the sky. And then here's the focal point. And I'm just gonna find an area that looks kinda cool like that. And go back to the beginning. Okay, so we're gonna get her just like that. Cool. So now I'm gonna keyframe position, keyframe center position, make sure I'm at the beginning, and then I'm gonna go to the middle. Oops, that might have been way too far. Well, that might work. So we're just going to move this kind of like the fake sun has moved and then we're going to kind of just readjust that to be that I guess, you know? You just kind of play with it. I'm going to find the end. And I'm just gonna make one last little adjustment, just kind of like a little. And that's not doing anything, anything that's too crazy. But you're kind of keeping that weird light dynamic wrapped around the subject. So now we'll hit play. Of course, it's not gonna play. Let's see. And you can see the lights just moving just little bits. See that? It's like a moving picture. Let's watch that little section. See, got the lights going slowly by. Now, that looks great, but her face is really dark, so we're going to fix that by going up here. Oh, right clicking down here, hitting New, Adjustment Layer. Then going to the pen tool while well, that's selected and just drawing a little outline. Boom shaboom. Make sure you're, you're at the beginning when you did that. Go to track mask, right click on the yellow line, right click on the yellow line and hit track mask. Oh, look at that was missing. The whole window is missing. And just hit play and uh, hope for the best. And uh, we'll wait for this to finish. Okay, so we have tracked her face for the most part, and uh, it's not perfect, but that's where 
the feather comes into play and other such things. So let's zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to expand it. And feather it. But most importantly, curves. It's going to brighten up the face like a lot. Okay, now we're going to play the expansion and the feather until she looks like an angel. Yeah, just like that. We're going to feather it even more, expand it even more. Ooh, I like that. So now, that's a little much. Honestly, I think it just needs to be expanded more. So like there, I'm going to feather that. Oh, yes. Wait, I lost it. Where is it? There it is. Boom. Boom shakalaka. So we just use, you could probably track like a point and then like transfer all the keyframes from that point over to your whatever my jigs, but like, no. So much easier to do it like this. See, now she's got a bright face. Bright as can be, all the way around. Let's see. Oh, so much brightness. So happy. So happy. And let's just. Expand this a little bit more. Oh my god, so much better. That's like an aura. She has an aura of light, and now this looks great. This looks great. Boom. So that's how you take a clip that looks. Oh my god. That looks like this. Boom, boom, super, super fast. Goes by really quickly. Super not exciting at all. Except for that she looks gorgeous. But it's just not portraying her gorgeousness the way we want. The camera just doesn't capture the beauty. So we have to re... There we go. Mm -hmm. Time to render. Click the composition, add to render queue. Some people like to render it in the media manager encoder, but I've never done that, wanted to or anything, so I'm just not. Um, for some reason, my After Effects exports to 64s with big black bars on the top and bottom, and I no matter what I do. It will not go away. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, use my ProRes template that I made. Just ProRes. See? Nothing special. And it's going to go into my Finals folder. Finals. Render. Okay, now that it's rendered, you can see what it looks like. The music might cut out because um, the file's really big, but um, at least you'll be able to see the clip. Here we go. Let's 
stop it as it needs to come back. Oh yeah, looks good. That's the next one to fix. <clears throat> but you can see how you can really go from this to 